uh, I get really, really cool questions on my YouTube channel, and sometimes I avoid answering them because it's like, oh man, if you were my student, we would just work on this in our lessons together. But um, I gotta think outside the box here because it is a YouTube channel, and I do hear that my videos are helping people. Um, so I had a um, a person ask me um, about the warm ups, and they said they're doing their warm ups twice per day, and that they're really, really helping them, and that is super duper awesome. But she asked, um, why is it that when she does the warm-ups, she feels like she can do them correctly, but when she goes to sing the song, um, she doesn't feel like she's doing well. Okay, so this is like a big um, conundrum with singing. You know, you'll get to the point, um, many of you will, you'll, you'll feel like, okay, I've got some sort of level of chops, or I can do these warm-ups, but then when I go to sing the song, it's just, you know, I lose it. Um, so here is my answer to this. Singing in my in my practice, in my opinion, and what I have figured out is that singing is, is two-sided. So whoop, we got this line down the middle. And on one side, singing is this um, kind of intellectual, academic workout. So that's where this, this daily warm-up workout comes in. It is the muscle memory. It's that. So we do this thing over and over. We repeat ad nauseum until we can't handle it anymore. And we develop our ear because we are matching notes. We develop the coordination to sing, um, to move in between the registers. Um, we get so sick of it that we quit caring. So that is the third value of the warm up. And you basically can kind of start to let go. Um, so you're teaching your body how to sing by repeating the process. You also are instilling confidence. So um, the person I think had been only doing it for um, a small amount of time. So I tell everyone, you know, you'll realize a difference in your voice a couple weeks after you start the warm ups. Then, uh, uh, and everyone's different, um, but after a period of months, your voice is gonna show up for you in a way that it never has before, which is very interesting. That said, okay, so this is all the intellectual side. So let's go to the flip side of singing. I call it the emotional side of singing. Well, singing, music, has a way that makes us feel like nothing else. So, because singing is so emotionally based, whatever goes on here is going to manifest here. In our singing. And I know this as well as anybody else from my students that I work with and from my own experiences. The minute that we start thinking negatively or critically about our singing, be it a performance or just singing by ourselves, we are just not going to sing as good. Well, how do you fix that? Cool. <laughs> if there was one easy way to fix it, um, I would tell you, but then I'd also be lying. So <laughs> that's why I love the warm up slash workout is because it helps you build up the confidence. It helps you know that you are developing basically your chops to become a better singer so that when our little emotional demons creep up, which they always do, I mean, you can get more and more confident with singing by doing, but they'll, they'll still, you know, we are human and we are fragile and we bring our junk with us. And, but what you'll learn is that even when you feel nervous, it's not quite as bad as what you thought or what it used to have been before you were studying your voice. Um, I hope that is helpful. So look, sum it up. Um, so we've got our intellectual side, um, and that to me, or academic, and that is the vocal warm-up that we're going to practice. We're going to do our runs. We're going to do our skills. And then we've got our emotional side, which is our real-life human experience that we bring to the song, that we tell the story with why we love that song because the words meant so much to us because we felt that emotion before or we wrote that song because of an experience that we had um and the two worlds coming together whoop, are what make you a better singer
I don't know how to turn this thing off. Oh. Be it a performance or just singing by ourselves, 